Hello everyone, I am Duo, and welcome back to another video, and today we are back on the Existence server. This is episode number 35, and we are in the Villager Trading Hall that I built last episode. And as you can see, the villagers are gone. What happened? Well, I'm assuming that a zombie killed them off. Either that or they despawned somehow. Um... But it doesn't matter that much, we've got an infinite villager breeder up there, and plus I didn't really do this for the intent to trade anyway, it was more to fill the void in my base. Because I was thinking, what am I going to do with this room, so I just slapped a villager trading hall in here and called it a day, pretty much. Um, so I'm not too bothered about that, but yeah, they're gone. So what are we going to be doing today? Well, I think we're going to be putting loose ends or starting to uh, make loose ends on my base. Now, uh, there's only a couple things left to finish, uh, including that, 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 uh, and the imp uh, the thing over there, which that thing will go next episode, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we still need to finish quite a few things, so why don't we go ahead and get on with it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tackle is that room and this little room over here. Can't even call it a room, it's basically just uh, a, what's it called, nano farm, just slapped here. So the fix that I'm going to make is uh, do concrete going like this. Um, I do feel like the purple concrete is very vibrant, but let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks very nice. Okay, so I'm going to place a door here. And then that's that done, and I'm going to do the same over there in a second, but what I need to do next is put something like possibly this. Okay, this is live detailing on camera. This is something you don't get to see often. Okay, yeah, this is a very tiny room, so not really much care and attention has to really go into it. Uh, okay, I'll use a slab there, block there couple blocks there and that room is done I'm gonna put a torch there there we go that room is done now let's move on to the next one okay this room here is also done yeah the torch lighting isn't great but I feel like I'm not even gonna be touching this room ever again I barely ever take note of these two rooms anyway they're just there so now to answer the big thing in the center, what am I going to do with this? Well, let me show you right now. Now take a look at this. I think this looks absolutely amazing. This room is finally finished, aside from that of course. But yeah, it, it just feels that much more finished. Okay, so I think this thing, aside from clearing out all the chests, I think this thing is literally the only thing left. And there's a zombie holding a sandstone block on the other side. That's kind of amusing. But it's literally just this to finish. And this will take literally no time. Oh, I'm so excited to finally have this base finished. For the design of the glass, yes, I even designed the glass aspects. Ow, these guys are going to be the pain. Come on, just die already, or go down the hole. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is something along the lines of this. So I'm going to be using some of this stuff, 
And I'm also going to be using some magenta glass panes. And I feel like these, this block combination really works well together. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I really feel like it does. And then in the center we put a magenta. I feel like that looks really nice. So if we repeat that on all four sides... Okay, so I've repeated it on all four sides, and as you can see, I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, not the best, but again, it's, uh, it's sort of to make this place feel more complete. Okay, so now I'm gonna get some purple, if I can get enough of it, that is. And I'm gonna do the top. Okay, so I'm just putting lighting in now, and that means that this this XP farm will be almost completely done. Um, to be honest, I don't really use it for XP. As you can see, they're just dying on their own. Uh, so this is really just a bone grinding farm. Um, I found a spawner here back in episode 22, I think. And maybe, uh, I'm, I don't know what episode number it was, but I found the spawner here and I thought, why do I, why don't I keep this and make a mini farm out of it? So that is pretty much what I'm doing right here. I guess I can call that XP farm or bone farm absolutely done now. So I decided to add a little thing here, it was a pain to do because their hitboxes were in the way of where I was placing the blocks. But there we go, I feel like that uh, that bone grinder actually looks very cool. And aside from these stray chests, this entire room is now done. Excuse me, you're not meant to do that. <laughs> so I'm just uh, moving some of my items out of this old storage room and into the new one and uh, well I'm not very organized as you can see uh, I don't really like getting organized in this game uh, it's just something I never really do so all I'm doing is just dumping them in the chests uh, because well let's face it I don't think any of us like organizing our chests aside from maybe some of the technical players out there but I honestly hate this part of the game so that is why I'm just dumping everything in oh let's watch the f let's watch the entity count go over a thousand oh oh the lag <laughs> the entity count is just insane all right these seem to be mostly empty, so I'm gonna axe these. Oh, rip, there was some redstone stuff in there. There's some stone in here. To be honest, I have so much stone, I'm probably just gonna let all of this despawn. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I don't think I'll be needing any of this. Uh, I, I think I'll just dump all this stuff in the storage room anyway. But, oh my god, those frames. Okay, so all of these are filled in. Don't you agree that that looks so much better? I personally do. Um, sorry for the leading question there. <laughs> uh, I was sort of imposing my opinion upon you, which is not what you're meant to do, especially when you're asking a question. Okay, I should probably take my terracotta with me. But yeah, that, that looks just so much better. Now it just looks like a corridor. And I put... I personally think that's awesome. Now I've got to get rid of these things. Ah, oh, this is gonna take a while. So there we go. All of the project chests are absolutely gone, including this one, including the one over there, including the project chests up there. So yeah, they're basically all gone now, and this base looks even more complete. My god, I think one more episode and this entire this entire base will actually be complete. This will be the first ever base I will ever complete. You know what? It didn't actually take that long, so it, it doesn't seem unrealistic that I'll be able to hammer out this part in one episode, in this episode. Aha, so we could actually get the entire base done this episode. Oh my god, this is actually insane. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to do it part in the form of doing it on camera and part in the form of progress updates. So the first thing we need to do is lay out the initial ground with, with uh, sandstone. Uh, there's no point in making it slabs because I've got quite a bit of it anyway. Uh, what I'm going for is a more modern type of feel uh, with this part. So we're going from the ender mystical magical theme straight to modern, which I feel is kind of an okay twist. Uh, you can't really do much for a very modern looking apartment in a sort of endery place. So the colour scheme is going to be the same though, um, but the floor and... But it's just going to be a modern type. Okay, so once I got this floor set, floor done, then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I've got so far in terms of the floor. I've got my mini balcony up here, carpet here. Uh, there's going to be a sofa here. Uh, I think I'm going to do it uh, out of Birchwood. Okay, let me just figure this out. So something like this. Very basic sofa, and it's pretty much a design that everyone uses, but I feel like it's going to be best for this. And then against the wall here, we're going to have a TV uh, with some big speakers. And the actual things, I'm going to show you it here. Uh, this isn't going to be the final place of it. And I think I did that wrong. Yeah, I did. It's meant to be the other way around. So I got some maps of the end, that's going to be in the TV, and I feel like that's going to be pretty good to put there. Okay, so another progress update, and it's really coming together now. So we've got the TV in with the various buttons, we've got the brick walls, and I've got a design down and established, which I think looks very nice, considering it's a uh, design choice that I've never done before. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what this turns out to be. So I'm going to work on it even more, and then we'll see where we're coming out. Okay, so progress update number three. I've uh, worked on this part up here, just filling in the roof. And I'm also going to do the same on the lower part, so down here. Uh, I've already started on this bit, and it's already really coming together. Obviously, it's not my strongest point, because uh, I'm used to highly detailed builds. And I feel kind of uncomfortable building like this. But I'm, to be honest, it's turning out really nice. I'm actually really liking this uh, design. But yeah, again, uh, I'm going to finish up this room here. And hopefully these ones too. And then we can discuss it even further. Alright, so all of these rooms are pretty much the same, uh, pretty much same design concept. Oh, I forgot the roof here. Should probably do that. Okay, so now we can get on to the designs. So, I think the drawers should go here. Yes, these are meant to be drawers. Don't judge me. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm meant to get some carpet here, place this over the top, and there we go, we have our drawers. And I think they're pretty cool, simple but cool. Um, and I know bookshelves are meant to go in here. Yeah, I know it's all over the place. I do apologize. I feel like something like that. Okay, so that is everything. The interiors, everything of this little residential area complete. Here we have a shower with a drain, a, a toilet, a sink. Uh, a bed, bookshelves, and even more stuff like the cooker, cauldron, or sink, another sink, a stool, some plates, these uh, drawers, and maybe, uh, just to fill the space, I want to add some shelves here. Yeah, that, that looks even better. I'm really liking this place. Although it's simple, it, it does the job really nicely, in fact. There you have the TV with the speakers and the buttons. I should probably place the buttons a bit lower. Yeah, that looks better. And slightly more realistic. And then out here, I haven't done anything yet, but I will do that off camera. 
but pretty much the entire base is completely done, and that's amazing. So I decided to construct a quick little uh, room to join this to the rest of the area, and I think I did a successful job. It's small, um, yeah, it's very subtle compared to the rest of the base, you don't really notice it all that much, but it's here, when you go through this door, you are greeted with the rest of the base. I think this looks absolutely awesome. So yeah, I think today's projects were a success. So anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy today's episode. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe for more. But anyway guys, I am Duo, and I'll catch you all next time. So, I'll see you then. Bye.